Hello everyone, my name is Kong Zhang and I will be talking about carbon offset. Every day we as individuals release carbon due to the actions we take to complete our daily routine such as consuming electricity or taking the bus. According to James Nash, a climate scientist with Greatest Planet which specializes in carbon offset investments, U.S. is the country where an average person generates the highest amount of carbon annually, about 25 tons of carbon compared to China which generates 6 carbon tons per year. Industries, on the other hand, releases massive amount of carbon into the atmosphere and therefore they must find a way to make up for this. These companies turn to carbon offsetting. Carbon offsetting should not be seen as an economic profiting system in which offset providers receive money to build projects, but as a global step to maintaining balance between CO2 emission and CO2 reduction. Before regulations and laws were pushed to control carbon emission, companies could release as much carbon as they wanted into the environment and nothing would be done about it. The concept of carbon offset is simple. The buyer pays the provider to fund projects that reduces greenhouse gas emission instead of trying to make radical changes to their tasks and how they operate their facilities. It's a voluntary trade where people and business participate in it to decrease their carbon footprint, the total amount of greenhouse gas emitted by an individual. Some people may then argue that buying carbon offset is the same as giving your money away. However, it is not. A lower carbon footprint gives one a sense of moral right in believing that they are doing something good for the environment by decreasing their carbon emission. An increase of green image may attract green cus customers and consumers for their business and thus yield more profit. According to the EcoBusinessLinks.com, there are literally tons of providers worldwide that charge as low as $2.75 to as high as $33 to $99. Each provider uses the money they receive differently such as making renewables, creating sustainable forest management, and many more as shown in this chart. Some providers, however, do not allow the buyer to decide which project they want to invest in, but others do. Such as shown in this pie chart, the percentage shows how a dollar is broken down by the provider. Of course, a buyer's decision on how he or she wants to impact the environment is very important. However, sometimes a company with a good research team may know what's best. Carbon offset is a global step to balancing carbon emission and reduction. Carbon offset can lead to global benefits, especially towards developing countries. This can be made possible in that companies from a highly developed country can afford to buy carbon offsets from providers in a low developing nation. People living in highly developed countries are more likely to participate in carbon offset because first of all, they can afford it because they have money like this and they know that making drastic changes to automobile emission would be highly expensive and difficult, maybe even impossible. Automobiles and electricity can be argued as a necessity to developed countries in which mass communication is done through internet, cell phones, phones, pagers, etc. Major companies like Google has taken its first initiative in buying carbon offset for a new project in Berkeley County, South Carolina. In this project, Google has planned to turn biogas into 3 megawatt of electricity which is good enough to power 15,000 homes in the southeast. This project plans to create about 200,000 to 300,000 metric tons of carbon offset. Another major company known as Three Phases, a large wind company in the Midwest, is planning to offset energy consumption by charging $213 to produce wind turbines that would be able to generate an extra of 10,656 kilowatt per year, which is the same amount of energy consumed by an average U.S. household. Companies do care. These actions go to show that companies are starting to pick up the trend of carbon offsetting where they want to decrease the carbon emission they give off. Companies are also starting to see the importance of advancement in technology to decrease carbon emission and that's why they fund these green projects. Companies already know that the best solution is to buy carbon offsets rather than spend thousands of dollars to say reduce electricity or space occupied by reducing employment. This effect may kill the economy or spur anger among employees and these companies do not want that. Unions are created to protect employees. The companies want what's best for the people. Just because companies donate a lot of money doesn't mean that individuals aren't recognized by these carbon offset providers. As shown in this picture, an individual receives a certificate of special thanks for their contributions to funding the carbon offset provider. This one is specifically from the carbon offset provider carbonfund.org. Cherish the environment and what it has to offer. Everyone should care about carbon offsetting because it allows for a balance in the carbon emission and carbon reduction. 
A massive amount of carbon is dangerous to our environment because carbon is one of the greenhouse gases that has created the big ozone hole over China. A hole in the ozone means the sun can easily penetrate through to earth and therefore leading to major damages like global warming and skin cancer. As shown in this picture, the ozone hole is only getting bigger and bigger. We as an individual should take actions along with companies who have also taken action by buying carbon offsets. Carbon offsetting can only do good. It benefits us in funding projects that helps the environment and keeping the economy rolling. Those who can afford it are all involved in this project. Carbon offsetting has become a way for companies with massive carbon emissions to step up and take responsibility for polluting the atmosphere with enormous amounts of carbon. Earth can only take so much. Be a responsible citizen of Earth. Protect Earth and conserve its natural resources for future generations to come. Don't leave your lights on. Drop the moped or forget the bus. Walk or bike to class. This will not only help you live a healthy life but create a healthy environment for the future generation.